So 20 years ago, I graduated from college, and believe it or not, my life has not gone in the direction that I thought it would. So now, it's become necessary for me to go back to school. And I thought to myself, rather naively, what could have changed? What, what could possibly be different about college? I thought it was all just a pretty standard practice. You go to class, the professor teaches, you take notes, there are quizzes, there are tests, there are midterms, there are finals. You turn in a couple of research papers, things get graded, and you move on. I was wrong. So as I sit down in the class, I'm getting ready to take some notes and the professor walks in and she passes out a notes outline. And I think to myself, this is great because now instead of taking notes all class long, I can just fill in a couple of facts throughout this notes outline based on what the professor's saying. And I can spend more time focusing on what the teacher's actually teaching. And that's great because there's some research out there that says this is a better way of learning anyway. Now the class is going along great, the professor's wonderful, she's explaining things well, she's clear and articulate, and she's making sense of trigonometry. It's, it actually makes sense how she's explaining it. So I'm sailing through this class. Now there's an online component to this class, and what you do is you turn in some work online on days that you don't meet with the instructor. And one of the assignments that they asked us to turn in was to turn in a copy of the notes that we had taken. And I thought to myself, no big deal. It's just notes. People don't grade notes. I, I thought the reason that she wanted to see them was to make sure that we actually did them, like we were participating in class. What I did not know was that my notes were a graded assignment. Now this rubbed me the wrong way for a litany of reasons, but primarily they're my notes. They're what I need to learn in the class, not necessarily what somebody else thinks I should be taking notes on. It's the stuff that's relevant to me, what I think I'm going to have a hard time remembering. And to have somebody grade my notes, that's, that's never happened before in my life. Now, in trigonometry, there's a symbol called theta. It looks like a eight, basically. So whenever I was taking my notes, I routinely left out the theta symbol. The reason I left it out is because, well, I knew it went there, so there's no reason to put it in the notes. And two, it was faster to take the notes without putting it there because there's a lot to write down in the middle of this class. So in my notes, when she saw that I didn't put the theta symbol in there, she took 10 points off of my notes assignment for leaving out theta. And I thought to myself, why? They're my notes. What, like, it, it still bothered me. Why are you grading my notes? Why are you telling me how to take notes? Now, I've never had a teacher even mandate that I take notes, let alone dictate the style or the completion or the level of notes that I take. So this entire concept is new to me. And yeah, people sometimes resist what's new to them. But basically, I just kept falling back on the thought that these are my notes, they're not for her. The other thing as I sat there thinking about this was what if her note style on her note outline didn't work for some students? What if that's not what they needed? I mean, I appreciated her notes because it worked perfectly for me, but that's not to say that it would work perfectly for someone else. So again, why are we dictating notes? Now listen, I'm not gonna get butt hurt about this. Sure, it rubbed me the wrong way, but it's her class. She's the instructor. She makes the rules and we'll do it her way and I'll get over myself. So I basically have three questions for you. Number one, should notes be turned in? Two, should notes be graded? And three, what are your thoughts on this? Guys, I really hope you enjoy the video. I do hope that you jump in the comments and chat with me and let you know what you think. I'll be in the comments as well. The best way to support the channel is to like and subscribe. Y'all have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.